Good evening, everyone, and welcome to, once again, Dover Sherborne High School for game number two of this basketball season. Bruce Glazer, Brad Crandall, and Brad, in the opening game against Millis, we saw the power of DS. We also saw the weaknesses in Millis. I'm not sure it was a game to gauge how effective DS will be the entire season, but it's the beginning. Yes, absolutely. Starters for both teams, Alicia. Cardoso, Williams, Mansoor, and Fitzgerald for the visitors, the home team. Rinaldi with 32 points in his last game. Wendell, Melchionda, Brian Olsen with 12 in the opener. And Luke Spellman, Dover Sherborne going right to left. And the visitors should be going the other way. The jump at center, Fitzgerald and Olsen. Olsen has the ball. Left side gets back from Mel to Melchionda and over to not Windle, but lost my number already. Spellman inside. Olsen, first shot of the game, missed. Nice climbing rebound for number 10, Jalen Allison Cardoso. Yeah, Will Fitzgerald had good defense on him, made him miss. Luis Alicia had the ball. There he has it now again, right wing, feet inside. Nice play, layup good by Allison Cardoso. We'll yeah. call uh, Jalen Allison Cardoso, Cardoso, just Cardoso. Because by the time I say all three names, the play will be done. <laughs> yes. Driving inside. Oh. And a miss by Melchionda. And we come the other way. Alicia looking for a fly pass. Hells on the ball in the forecourt. Comes center. Right wing to number 23, Fitzgerald. Shoots wow. and makes it 5 nothing. Get him. Oh, a nice three point. Hot, hot, hot. That was Mansoor, I apologize. Mansoor, one of the captains with the basket. Reverse layup by Olsen, he gets fouled, he'll go to the line and shoot a couple. Yeah, it seems like they're just kind of forcing it to the basket right now. In the opener, Dover Sherborne shot 47.6% from the floor, which is incredible. Their free throw success was 72.7%, 8 out of 11. Um, what else we got here? Yes, it's a 5-1 game. Yeah, that was fun to watch. Ten steals for Dover Sherborne in that game. And they controlled the boards. They controlled the game. They controlled everything. Yeah, they controlled Catalano. Yeah, he had a very bad opener. Mm -hmm. Ball for Mansour. They work it around. Williams to Cardoso. Shot. Rimmer. Off the rim, taken by Dedham. Wow. They get it back. Cardoso drives the paint. Throws a hook. It skims and comes out into the hands of Spellman. Spellman slowly bringing it up. Alisea guarding him. For Luke. A bomb. In and out. Rebound controlled by Cardoso. That kid's going to get a lot of rebounds tonight. I can just feel it. Yeah, Cardoso. He's well. Left side. Mansour off the glass. Tie up. Comes down to Spellman. Yeah, Wendell uh, getting a hand on that, breaking it loose. Inside, foul. No basket, but Melky will go to the line, shoot two. As I said in the last game, the leading scorers were Luke and Brian Olson. Um, Melky had six, Kinney had six in relief, Richards had four, Kiesling two, and Glick had three, and Gavin Lynch had two. Six, five, three to score. Off the mark there. So it remains 5-3, two minutes into the contest. Alessio will bring it up. He's a senior. Have watched, we've watched him for three years. Gotten better every year. Wow. Nice stuff by Luke. Back out to Cardoso. Top of the key. Cardoso fakes left, comes right. Mansour straight away. Up, out, and down to the hands of Melk of Melchionda. Yep, Melchionda. Spellman. Olsen thought about the three, comes baseline, lays it up, and no good, and he got foul. The Raiders cannot buy a bucket, but they can buy the foul stripe. No, nah, they can't, but you know what? They've really only just shot it once. They've just been going for that um, layup, heavily contested layup at that. Olsen for the first, misses. Malkyunda had 10 rebounds to lead the team in the last game. and Spellman had eight. Five, four. Makes that one. And here's an interesting stat, Brad. 
Uh, the Raiders had 21 points on turnovers. That's a lot of points. Uh, foul on uh, by window there. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Right side. Williams over two minutes sore. He's been shooting a lot already. Williams gets it back. Jimmy bounces it outside to LC to set it up again. Long shot clock. 2-0, 22 seconds remaining on inside Mansoor, gets fouled, or he walked. Ah, no, walked. he walked, he definitely walked. That was a great pass too by Cardosa, just getting it in there for him. Spellman will put it in play. He ends off to number two, Jonah Windle. Spellman gets it back over the timeline. Olsen, Spellman looking at Windle, gets some help left wing. Window drives, gets it back. Good defense here from Dedham. Window for hey, three! Nice shot. 7-5 Raiders, first lead of the game for the home team. Cardoso. Cardoso drives the paint. Hook, good! Yeah, this kid can ball, Bruce. He's got some skills, huh? Yep. Melchionda brings it up. Hair flying as he moves it up the floor. Gets it back, left wing for a window. Window baseline, spins it around. Melchionda, Spellman in front, of, in front of the Dedham bench. Melchionda, bang! Yes, nice shot. 10-7, 4-0-7 to go in the quarter. Yeah, Raiders taking the lead. Elosea, hands off for Williams. Bounces to Cardoso, Cardoso. Spin inside, intended for Steve Knight, who just came in. Nothing doing. Raiders ball, Melchionda, 12-7. Wow. Spellman with a dime of a pass there. Excellent stuff. 3.40 to go in the quarter. Five-point lead, Raiders. With Grady shouting out defense. This is Knight. Knight holds. Cardosa. Handoff, Williams. Can't get away from Spellman and loses the ball. Spellman to the floor, goes out of bounds. White ball. Uh, good defense there from Spellman. Absolutely. Wonder if he plays with his big bro, Zach. <laughs> True. Gavin Lynch in. Zach, Luke Spellman out. Melchionda. Luke back to Melchionda. Way outside. Yeah. Wendell Rimmer. Wendell sees it goes out of bounds. Nothing he can do. Red ball. That was like a Curry three-pointer, which is way back. Uh, by the way, the officials are not counting off the 10-second backcourt. Um, huh. Bring up the violation. They're not counting it off anymore with their hand like they used to. It's still 10 seconds. Don't get me wrong. Baseline Mansour turns around. Cross court to the open night. Fakes. Drives against Belkionda. They work it around. Elisea hasn't shot yet. Cardosa thinking about it. Works the ball to Alisea. Mansour says, how about me? Mansour has it. Looks, shoots, in and out. Yeah. Rebound, Williams to Mansour. Controls the ball, drives baseline, shoots and misses the everything. Yeah. Back down to Melchionda, Mason up to Luke. Rinaldi driving the left side, shoots short. Yeah. Rebound controlled by Alisea. That was not a good shot attempt. No, good defense though by Cardoza. Absolutely. Elisea looks around a screen, not going nowhere. Williams back to Elisea. 2.10 to go in the quarter. Got a foul on the floor. So they're not going to count off the 10 seconds you have to bring it up the court. They're going to use the shot clock. Mm. Okay, whatever. Hey. And the other change, as we know with this timeout, I can actually read this. There's now a 35-second shot clock instead of, instead of a 30 we're used to. And this is what it said from the MIA. Um, officials... Uh, the, their official emphasized the shot clock changes coming this season. These are National Federation of High School mandates. High school basketball will now use a 35 second shot clock that resets to 20 seconds on a defensive violation with less than 19 seconds on the shot clock. Hmm. That's all there we you got. have it, folks. I mean, it's only a couple of changes, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, shout out to uh, for our cameraman. Chip Mistravic back there. 
working the gadgets. And who's down below? We got Elsa Suxo and JB. And where's your brother? He's uh, doing Instagram. So follow our Instagram, DS Cable TV, one word. This is a live stream. We hope we hope people in Dedham who didn't want to make the rainy trip up here are watching the game. We welcome you in as well as our Dover Sherbler and crowd and crowd every, anywhere else. We don't get a lot, but we get quality viewers from different parts of the yeah, country. And then on the replay, we get up to a couple hundred viewers after the yeah. after when the replay's on. It's all about quality, not quantity. You betcha. Luis Alisea in front of us. Do you see John Muckstadt in attendance here too? Big or little? Big, a little. Oh, yeah. Must be out of school for the break. Yeah, he was sure. Foul line. He walked. Yeah, he definitely tripped over himself. So Mansoor, I'm thinking, would have been in eighth grade when Max Stat was a senior. That's crazy. Isn't that, that about right? That is crazy. It is crazy, but that's the way the world moves, right? Uh huh. Brian Olson up in 14-7. A touchdown lead for the Raiders. Just pure power there. Mansour for three. Down to the hands of Spellman. For a small guy, he can rebound. Yeah, he's good. Mason Melchionda in the corner for Gavin Lynch. Ooh. Air ball into the hands of Olsen. He just moved around everybody. He was a two-on-one. He was trapped. One up in the air and got fouled. Yeah, I think he's probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest in the division, Bruce. I will not argue that. Yeah. I mean, there might be stronger people in the division playing football, for example. Yeah. But when you look at overall basketball, baseball, football, this is the guy. Yeah, he is. Fun to watch. Charles Fang coming in. Luke getting a breather before the quarter's over. Mm -hmm. Timmy Williams, I think, came back in. Ah, oh, look at Gavin. Oh, no one was there to catch the pass. And Davis Darnell is in. Sam Milligan came in for his debut on this floor. Milligan has the ball to, Ca to Cardoso. Cardoso. I'll get it by halftime. <laughs> Milligan for Williams. Letter on the shot clock. Davis Darnell. Fake. Nice fake by yeah, Knight. Wow. Hands off. Shot. Off the um, rim. Yep, Spellman comes up with it. They're not getting the rebounds like they should be. No. Dover Sherbun's boxing out very well. Melchionda back out to Spellman. Yeah, our smaller guys are getting more rebounds so far. Gavin Lynch on the outside. Melchionda for the three. Got oh it! Oh my goodness. What a pure shooter he is. Ten point lead Raiders. Last game, I believe Jedham lost. They definitely lost to Medway. I think it was 38-36 or something very close to that. Neither team scored 40 points. And that's got a warrior in a, in a, in a boys division. Yeah. And then you see um, they Dover Sherwood scoring over 70. I know, that was crazy. 71, right? Yeah. Off the hands of Milligan. It'll be DS ball. 6.9 on the game clock to go in the quarter. Yeah, Luke coming back in. Looks in. And... Uh, yeah, Max Glick coming in. This is a hold for one, I assume. Melchiondo with the red cheeks. Hands it up the floor to Spellman. Past the visiting bench. One second to go! And we've played a quarter. Dover Sherwood leads 17 to 7. Yeah, you know, Bruce, they started off slow, missing a lot of those layups, and uh, they made up for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's nice to see them come out cold, not have a lead, and come back like this. Yeah, exactly. Solid. Nice crowd here this evening. Yeah, good crowd. The Muckstats are here? I think, uh, yep, the Muckstats. You see Johnny Bennett. Um, a few others. So we have uh, a girls game coming up next week. The boys will be at Bellingham. The girls will be here against Bellingham. I believe it's 6.30. We'll be covering, be covering our first girls game. And the girls actually played at 5.30 today, so we might get the results of that Ooh, at our halftime. Nice. Maybe. Maybe. Don't hold your breath. I'm not. The 
Glick, Rinaldi, Olsen, Malkionda, and Spellman on the floor for the home team. Davis Darnell comes out along with Milligan, who'll throw it in. Knight, Mansoor, and Williams. For Dedham, Marauder's ball. Outside to Williams. Works the center. Right side, Knight. Back to Williams. They work it around. Mansour driving. Left wing. Mansour has nothing. Turns around, shoots, and misses. He was hot in the beginning of the yeah, game, Brad. He then he went cold. Yeah. Milligan. Bang. Oh, nice shot there. They needed that one. 17 to 10. Yeah, they're back in it now. Uh -huh. Anything under 10 points is a close game. We talk about it many times. You have to feel good about yourself staying close. It's true. It's a game of runs. Spellman. Melchionda. Short. That's been one of the problems in this early going. They're short on some of their layups. Mm -hmm. Outside. Looking at Mansoor. He wants somebody to move inside. Looking at Williams. Now comes left for Knight. Knight feed down low. Milligan looks. The redhead turns it around, throws it out of bounds. It was tipped by a white shirt. Yep, I even see Reese down there. He's a former student. Not basketball player, though. Mansoor. Got it. Wow, there he is. 17-13, two threes in a row by Zedham, bring him closer. 17-13, just about 110 played in the second quarter here at Dover Sherbourne High School. Olsen wants some movement, looks at it. Melchionda in front of the bench. Melchionda comes around, got nothing. Luke off a pick, Luke drives. Nice defense. Luke throws a runner, no good, into the hands of Williams in the rebound. You know, it was impressive that he even had that opportunity. Yes, the defense was solid. Uh huh. He just like floats in the air. That's like Luke's thing. Drive, short, foul. Mm. Jummer and Window coming back in for the Raiders. Yeah, Max Glick with the foul on that one. We have a nice student section off to our right. Yep. They're fun, they're fun to listen to before the game and the practices. They were counting a number of misses on Dedham shots <laughs> while they were warming up. And they got to nine misses and then they hit one and the, and the boys were kind of disappointed. That's so but it was fun. just a fun spirit thing and everybody kind of laughed at it. Right, it was pretty silly. Okay. One made, 17, 14 is the score. Just a three-pointer separates these teams right now. Absolutely. Oh. And they got the ball back. Zedham yep. making a nice run. You got to think they're going to pass it to... Uh, um, no, they took... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's still out there. I was going to say Mansoor. Mansoor's in, but Cardosa is out, which surprises me. I don't even see him. Oh, there he is on the bench. He's sitting there. Yeah, that surprises me too, actually. Milligan off the glass oh, and in. 17-16. Nice I don't know why a Dover Sherman calls timeout. They, last I remember, they had a 14-7 yeah. lead, and now they've been outscored nine to three in the second yeah. quarter. Wow. Game of runs, Bruce. Actually, they led 17 to seven, seven at the yep. quarter, so they haven't scored a point, and that's been nine unanswered points by Dedham. <laughs> you see a lot of people here over the uh -huh. break yeah. that, um, you don't see normally because of Christmas break. Kids coming home, they come to see the former high school team. Mm hmm. It's nice. Oh, I got one for you. Last night, Blues hockey. I'm sure you watched. <laughs> Opening of the game, right? And 30 something, 37 seconds in, the other team's coach calls the referee over and says, they got the wrong lineup. Now, I've never seen this. The Blues starting lineup that they gave to the official was incorrect on the ice they had the wrong player starting the game they got a two-minute penalty no for that way. i, didn't know I that. never heard of that but it's wow. the rule if you give the starting lineup you got to put those players out there i would bet you that all professional sports are like that yeah that's in baseball wild. if you bat out of order they call it out i believe it's an out whoa so you got to be very careful lynch waits lynch. oh one on three almost quick loses the ball yeah. and the visitors dead him can take the lead Mansoor leaves it for Alisea. Over the Raider at midcourt he comes. In front of Rick Grady. Alisea gets off a pick. 
LC drives, a, a wounded shot. Wow. Good. Wounded off the glass is what I meant. Yeah, nice hook there it by was, him. It was a very short hook, but it hit the glass and perfectly. The visitors take a one point lead as they have 11 unanswered points in this quarter. Olsen off a screen, Good goes up. to the basket. Jeez. 1918 Raiders, 5.07 to go in the half. Demi Glazer keeping DS individual stats for us. We'll have that at halftime or just at the end. Wow, man, yeah, sore. 1918 Denim. Back and forth we go. He's definitely dangerous on the floor. That's Mansoor. I wonder, did DS relax after the first quarter? Um, yeah, I don't know. Can't do that. I know Olsen. Ol Good. I know Olsen didn't relax, that's for sure. 21-20. Alisea. Mansoor, a bomb. Boom! Jeez. Splashing. I remember you did say this was probably going to be a good, better game. Oh, you definitely. Know, but like, yeah, Dedham's a good team. So. A fadeaway by Ronaldo is short. And he's not going to be hot every night. No. Nope. <coughs> Excuse me. Exactly. Like we talked about, too. It's like... It's the reason it's a team, you know? I mean, now everybody's hitting. 26-21 the Denim fans to our left cheer. Yeah, erupting over here. John Wendell, short. There's uh, a short layup again. Running short. It's not working for him. They're not finishing it off. Gotta think Alice. Grady must be fuming right now. New head coach Jacob Reed for the uh, Marauders. Yells out signals. Man, soar. Out. Win. Olsen for the rebound. Fly up the what floor. What a pass. Waits, shoots, Gavin gets a oh. basket and a foul. Gavin Lynch. Gotta love that guy, Gavin wow. Lynch. Three and a half to go, three point lead for dum, 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 dum. I had Dover Sherbert get in my head, <laughs> and I just went, which one was it? Du, 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 du. It's Dedham. Yeah. Dedham fouled, and they have a lead of three, and Lynch to the line. He's not as big as his brother, Ethan. No. But he, we knew that coming into last year when we saw the size differential when Ethan and Gavin played last year. But he's a different kind of player, totally. Yeah, he is. In and out. Shout out to Ethan, too. He's watching the stream. How do you know? Uh... On yes. our Instagram, he messaged us. So. Nice to know they're out there looking. Yep. Alicia. Nice feed oh, from Mansoor. Oh, goodness. They woke up. 28-23 visitors. Spellman drives. Hands off to Gavin Lynch, the aforementioned. Olsen for a bomb. Out, up and down, Alicia with the boards. Alicia looks up the floor, likes the right side, moves it behind his back. Drives left-handed, gives it off to Cardosa, who's come back in. Mansoor, good. Jeez, they need to cover that guy. If you don't get in Mansoor's face, he's going to beat you. Yep. 31-23. Rick Grady, to say the least, is not happy. No, he's not. He's very upset. Yeah, you hear him? He's, uh... I'm trying not to listen. 252 to go in the half. <laughs> Raiders led 17-7 at the quarter. They have six points in this quarter. Whereas, huh, huh, oh my, really? Hold on, let me look. 17, <laughs> they have six points in the quarter. Whereas, Dedham has 24. Wow. Wow, what That's a turnaround. Insane. Yeah, you know, we do know the Raiders. They might be down, but they're certainly not out. Right, it's been a, like, Kill two cities. First mm -hmm. quarter Raiders, second quarter Dedham. Yep. But it can change. 252, as I said, to go. Fans Wendell. Are very much so involved. Into the forecourt. Fans waking up to our right. Cardosa tightly defending. Shot missed by Melchioni. Behind his back, Cardosa. A dive for the ball. We're playing rugby now. Olsen <laughs> picks it up. Hits oh. off someone's head. Jeez, what a block by Davis Darnell, number 24. Well, Rick Grady won a slashing foul, but he won't get it, and he's appealing to the official who says, my call, not yours. Mm -hmm. A lot of histrionics on the floor. You know, I think every coach has a love-hate relationship with referees. Goes for players also. Mason Melchionda. And parents. 
for Brian Olson. Feet inside to Luke, goes out of bounds. White ball. Yeah, uh, that was uh, Cardoso with the tip. You know, when I say white or red ball, I thought, should I, should I say maroon ball? Just doesn't sound the same. <laughs> Another short layup. Red ball. Alisea, as Dover sherwin has been missing the bunnies tonight. I know, and it's showing on the scoreboard. Spin around. Oh, nice and block. And Cardoso travels. Even if he didn't, Rinaldi with a good block. Sub, Wayne coming in, and Lynch coming out. Fang. Did I say Wang? I, I, I rehearsed <laughs> <laughs> from last year. I never wanted to do it again, uh, so there they're, goes the rehearsal. They're, they're, they're close. They're Talking close. to a mirror doesn't always do it. <laughs> Inside no. for Luke Rinaldi. Oh, <laughs> wow, what defense. Yeah, I'll give a lot of credit to Davis Darnell. Yeah, who is this guy? He Make gave his life and soul up on that one. Making two great plays in a row on defense. Outside, post, left side. Bang. Fang. Good! Yeah. Did he do that Tuesday? He came off the yeah. bench and hit a bomb. Might just be the spark that this Raider team needs right now. Under 90 seconds to go in the first half. It's 31-26. Mansoor in and out. Nice Rebound. Boy. Climbing above everybody is Luke. Ronaldo brings it up left-handed. Bounces to the left. Bounces to the middle. Comes back around. Hands off to Fang. Melchionda. Oh. Looked good to me, but hit the orange. Spellman. Came down. Spellman keeps it in. And oh backboard my violation. Goodness. I, don't, I think he kept that in. No, well... He touched it is the point and went into the backcourt yeah, before effort. the other team touched it, so it's a backcourt violation. What effort though. Yeah, it was. That was like a Larry Bird type play. Sixty ticks till halftime. Darnell Ooh. out. Tipped. Red ball. <laughs> Steve Traster was a coach of Denham for many years. He's now their athletic director. Cardosa, cross court to Mansour for a fast one. Short. He wasn't really set. And Luke with the rebound. Yeah, that was just an awesome rebound. Five point differential. Rinaldi brings it in. He shoots a two pointer from the right wing. It misses. Mansour inside for the rebound. Fang did not keep it in. Uh, red ball. Good effort there. Half a minute to go in the half and. Dedham takes a timeout to set up one more play. It's a little bit of a run that the Raiders needed there. Oh, it woke us up. Yeah, I mean, I thought it would be a lot easier <laughs> because of the first quarter. Right. But Dedham said, wait a minute, we've got something to show you here. Yeah. And strategic timeouts by Dedham helped them. Mm -hmm. And that one that Grady took was uh, pretty good as well. Yeah, he had, to, he had to get his team organized. Yeah, he did. Rinaldi. Olsen of the captains for the home team. Williams, Mansoor of the captains for the visitors. They got a player number 34. I want him to come in because I want to say his name once. Alex Nakimchuk. Ah. I've got it down. Now you know I'm going to yeah. mess it up, right? Yeah. But I got it down for now. Bruce, you know what's funny actually and, and interesting? The freshman Raider team has a kid that looks like he's like seven feet tall on the team. I don't know exactly how tall he is, is he but really he's a tower. He's like, he's number 15. The kid is huge. Is he here now? Yeah. yeah. With the white shirt? Yeah. Really? Wait till he stands up. He's got size too. Yeah. Wow. Grady must be salivating for next year. It's bomb. Nice shot. Yeah, wow. Darnell. He can shoot too. This kid is dangerous. Oh my Stolen away goodness. by Cardosa. What in the world? Cardosa behind his back. Fake. And Williams did too much. It's still red ball. Yeah. 2.4 to go. And the Raiders have really lost control of themselves in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. Thrown by Williams. Mansour. Wait, shoots. Nothing. Travel. That's the half. No. We he got a foul. Foul on the floor. 
Nobody in the shooting situation. Walk. Okay. Uh -huh. Offensive foul. So with 0.8 seconds, I think we can just go to the, just go to the locker room. Yeah, or he's gonna heave it up. Good luck. <laughs> Oh, they're adding time, I think, maybe? No. Yeah, they are. They're adding a second. I mean, two a second. Hey, now, a there's a full second. So, nope. Nope. That'll count. Yeah. Doesn't matter. So, in the first quarter, Dedham had seven. They had 27 in the second quarter. In the first quarter, the, quarter, the Raiders had 17, nine in the second quarter. Dedham leads 34-26. Hello, I'm Bill O'Donnell, Register of Deeds for Norfolk County. The holidays are a time of joy, but for some, a time of stress. We see firsthand at the Registry of Deeds the struggles of people when it comes to mortgage foreclosures. A number of families in the county struggle to put food on the table. Realizing that one out of every nine Massachusetts households is considered food insecure, the Registry of Deeds continues to hold its annual holiday food drive to benefit struggling families here in Norfolk County. We are asking for your help in collecting non-perishable donations, such as canned meats, soups, vegetables, breakfast cereals, pasta, spaghetti sauces, along with household paper goods. To make a difference this holiday season, all you have to do is drop off a donation to the Registry of Deeds lobby, located at 649 High Street in Dedham between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. If you cannot get to the Registry of Deeds, please check our website at www.norfolkdeeds.org for a food pantry location in your community. Donations are needed throughout the year. Working together, we can truly make a difference. Thank you. All right, we're back. After talking to too many people at halftime, we are back. Bruce Glazer, Brad Crandall, welcome you back to the second half of this basketball game. The team switched baskets, and Mansoor has it as we start out 10 seconds in. Mansoor off bounds, shoots and misses, rebound Raiders. Scoring summary for the first half. Rinaldi surprisingly had no points. The leader was Olsen and Melchionda, nine each. Two for Lynch, three for Fang, three for Wendell. Layout, oh missed. God. Coming the other way. The impressive kid, Cardosa. Behind his back. I don't like that because he doesn't do it yep. that well. Yes. All the way in window. Layout. Yes. Now he did that twice, Cardosa, and both times he had problems with it. It's mm. cute, but it doesn't work. Yeah, getting too fancy. And the coach has to say to him, you know, we're here to win the game. Uh -huh. Yeah, now, Cardosa with the ball. Off to Mansour, they work around the perimeter. Alisea has it over to Cardosa in the low left when he thought about it. In his face was Malkionda. Mansour with 13 seconds on the shot clock. Hands off to Alisea. Alisea bounces, goes around a screen. Over to Mansour, six seconds, he shoots. Wow, I think Luke he, got a hand on did that. Did he? Okay, that, that ball fell a little short. A fingertip. Spellman out to Olsen. Olsen at the foul line. Two! Wow, Olsen. And that's the way you get to start a second half. Yes. You want to pick up the first two points. Yep, two see, turnovers. I think we may see a different Dover Sherborne team because I'm sure Mr. Grady said something prophetic to them. Cardoza, short. Oh. And, you know, he's oh, good. No. Don't get me up and down. Yep. Yes. He left his feet. Now, the kid is good, but he's trying to be an ESPN highlight. Too fancy, yeah. Wendell brings it up over the Raider. Left side for Melchionda. Nice feed inside. Back to Melchionda. He's driving. He's wow. blocked by Mansoor. He just stuck a thumb up and knocked it down. Yeah, Mansoor can do it all. Alisea against Spellman. He gets away. Drives. Wow. Stuffed. Olsen. Fly pass down the floor. Here comes Luke. Foul. And Luke goes to the floor. And Mansoor, two of the best players in the Tri-Valley, helping. He helps him up. It's always scary seeing Luke go down like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. He'll go to the line, shoot a couple. Mm. 
so he's got a point. Yeah. These are big, Bruce. But Grady having Wendell back off in defense to prevent any fly passes. So we now have the first four points of this quarter by the Raiders. They trail by two to the Marauders. Who would you want in a fight, a Raider or a Marauder? Uh, uh -huh. I, th I think they're the same thing. Yeah, they really are the same yeah. thing. They really are. Williams bounced inside Cardoza. Off balance, he loses the ball. Here we go. He's been a turnover machine this quarter. Foul, Foul on Cardoza, and he goes down. He's a little bit excessive. He's yeah. okay. I don't know if he got hurt on that one. The he way bounced he off the pad, but I think he got up quickly because he didn't want to be on the floor. So he got up, a little shaken up, but he's okay. Mansoor bangs him on the head, now he has a headache. <laughs> you see a lot of, um, the closer to the city you get, the more you see a lot of fanciness in the place. Yeah. And Denham is just outside Boston. Uh, Cardosa comes out. And returning to the game is Davis Darnell. Yeah, Denham fans trying to uh, disrupt them. I thought someone had a heart attack over there. 34 all, 519 <laughs> to go in the third. Alisea comes left wing for Mansoor. Really impressed by him. Yeah, me too. Mansoor off balance. A very unwise shot. Here comes yeah. Wendell for the lead. Wendell! Please, oh, it in! and one. And Alisea trailing the play, fouled him. And you know what? It came down to Luke on the opposite side there. Playing good defense on uh, Mansoor. And all Alisea wanted to do, do was throw him off balance so he wouldn't score uh -huh. and he'd go to the line. But he scored anyways. Yeah. Raiders with the first um, six points. Yes. Make that ten points for the quarter. White ball. Oh, I think Spellman might have whacked the ball into him last minute. Very heads up play. Outside. Olsen standing out there in the center position. A high post. Olsen now low post. The big wide receiver hands off to Melchiotti. Oh. Reverse layup, no good. And climbing the boards and getting hacked. You got No make foul those. was Fitzgerald. He really got slammed, but no there call. Time Davis out. Darnell was dribbling, and Rick Grady was calling. I thought it was a dead on time. I, no, I have a question. He said timeout white, but you can't call timeout when you don't have the ball. Can you? I'm pretty sure it was dead on timeout. Okay. I would think so. Yeah, it would make no sense. It would no. For them it to would take be, a timeout. Out right of control. <laughs> <laughs> then we could call a timeout. Yeah, no, all right. I think we needed it more than the Raiders. We have a double header coming up here. I just want to mention we have a double header on the thirtieth. It's afternoon, twelve and two. Uh, the thirtieth, the boys play at two. The girls play here at twelve. I mean. Once a year, they usually do that here. And I think Medway girls and boys are coming in the same night, too. That's a great take. Yeah, it is. I mean, that'll probably, probably be a 5 and a 6.30 or something like that. Yeah. But, I mean, to see a doubleheader of high school basketball and quality basketball. Yeah. The girls did lose their um, second game of the season. Matter of fact, they lost both. They won and lost the game 45-43. Yeah. The girls, and I know the Dedham game tonight started at 5.30, meaning it's probably just about over, this, and we may get a score later on. Who knows By if the they way, come back. Bruce, so, I don't want you doing karaoke on the night of the doubleheader. No. Night before. No, no. I'll go to bed early. Inside. Oh. Away. No good. Finally. Luke and Spellman both, I think, got a piece of that one. Olsen down the floor. Olsen turns around, gets a possession to Malkionda. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't shoot. He had no control of the ball. Yeah. He inside to Olsen. Olsen hot in tonight. He just rims it. Yeah, Monsar had a hand on it, I think. Alisea, two-point lead Raiders. Left side, Darnell. Hands off to Alisea. Fake by Fitzgerald. In and out. Yeah, ball bounces around off the fingers of Spellman. He was set, too. That was a nice... Uh, Shooting opportunity. Yeah. 
Grady saying it's out of bounds. Grady said it hit one of the supports and it should be white ball, but they're not buying it. Probably because they didn't see it. Ronan Richards in. Brian Olsen out for a one to go in the quarter. Get him ball. Darnell, left baseline. Williams, a lot of orange deflections tonight. Mansoor off a screen, got it. Wow. One point lead for Dedham. Got a Wendell with it now. Wendell switching hands. Luke shoots a pop, left rim, down to Mansoor. I'll say a look and cuts inside. Hands off left. Williams Ooh. misses everything. Trying to stay in bounds? No. Yeah, he tried to throw it off of Ronan Richards. Yeah, too. didn't work. Darnell turns it over. It'll be white ball. 320 to go in the third. Window bringing it up court. Guarded by Darnell. Spellman goes left, now Luke comes outside to get the ball. Luke, bounds away from him, taken back by Wendell. Wendell, nice pass, and Spellman made a nice play. He knew he couldn't get the ball. It deflected off a red shirt, and it's white ball. I am impressed with uh, Davis Darnell's defense on that one, though. Number 24 on the Marauders, not giving up. Maybe that's why the Medfield, Medway game was a low-scoring game. Both yeah. teams played better D. Wendell had an opening, now shoots a two-pointer. Off the deep part of the uh, glass, the low part of the glass, behind the basket. Comes down to Milligan for Darnell. Coach yelling instructions, Darnell, plenty of time. Mansour gets fouled by Spellman. Spellman's first, team's first of the half. Three fouls on Dedham, Milligan for Darnell. Good Darnell defense. dribbles left-handed. Window all over him. Mansour look for an opening. Luke on him. Mansour forced yeah. the shot that had no chance. Yeah, Luke blocked it. One point lead Dedham. Window, Window wants to change that oh. short. Mansour. How many short layups have there been? All right, too many. Nice drive and a foul. foul. Smart butt play by Fitzgerald. If he didn't score, he was going to draw the foul. Yep. I'm sure he wanted to score, though. Gavin Lynch returning along with Brian Olson for the Raiders. Two of the big men on this team. Cardoso returning for Dedham. Williams is out. For Denham. Wendell comes out and Richards comes out for Dover Sherborne. Foul. Olsen got the rebound and then he was fouled by Sam Milligan. That was quick, huh? Right. That's the fourth in the team, first in the player. Melchionda for Olsen. The junior looks around. Back outside for Melchionda. Mason. Draws a foul, though. It's a nice shot, just wouldn't stay. Yeah. None of the easier shots are easy tonight. No, no. Running through the gauntlet, trying to get a prayer ball up there. Got one. Fade both. Hey, those are big. One point lead Raiders under two minutes to go in the third. Darnell, stadium bounds on the sideline. Back to Darnell. Milligan gets it back. Four man soar, who will shoot from anywhere. Cardosa, two pointer from the right wing, in and out. The carom comes down to Rinaldi for Melchionda. 
They say oh, shoot it. Spellman does. Oh. And hits the inside of the rim. The get, carom comes down. Spellman on the offense. He's fouled by probably Milligan. Milligan's second. Yeah, Spellman holding his face. Looks like he got hit Ooh, in the face. I, yeah, here's Milligan's second. The, someone has three fouls. Cardoso has three fouls. Really? For man. them, yeah. He's very aggressive. Yeah, he Maybe is. too much so with three fouls already. Inside. Olsen. Oh, almost. To the line to shoot a couple. One, 39-37 Raiders, 116 to go. Glick came on, Glick came off, and Fang takes his place. Yes. One for two on that one. Darnell in the backcourt, help. Cardosa helps him out over the timeline against Lynch. Cardosa all the way, shoots off balance, draws the foul. He's not the world's greatest shooter, um, Cardosa, but he does draw fouls. Yeah, he does. He does play hard. He's having a good game. To go to the line and try and tie the game up with two shots. I'd say Monsor is probably their guy. And Cardosa, Cardoso is only a sophomore. Yeah, well, hey, he's So he's be got some guy. growing and experience to game. He is a force, though. He is. And he's just tied this game up. No, oh, it comes out! 39-38 Raiders coming down to the one minute mark left in the third quarter. You're watching a live stream of Dover. Sherborne, cable TV, high school basketball. Out to Melky, Melky Onda. He bounces. Fang gives it back to him. Yeah. Back. They're playing catch. Fang inside. Oh. Olsen couldn't pull it in. That was a wide pass to say the least. Yeah. Well, you, well, he is a wide receiver, so. <laughs> Can't make those one-handed passes. Spellman out, Wendell in. <laughs> Stop it. Inside, Williams. Nope. Oh. Oh, no. Williams free. Williams oh, misses two. Fang he's gonna, it out. He's already banging his head on that one. Yeah, good play by it. Fang then knocked it off of the uh, Dedham player. It was a nice play by Fang, but also was too easy. Shots missed. Yeah, it just got gifted to him yeah. right back, and then he missed the point blanker. That one has to hurt, especially with the score being so close. <clears throat> Melchionda, they're going to hold for one. 22 in the game clock. Shot clock off. High post outside. Nice pass. Let's play catch. High post and back. I'll wait. No, not from there. 11 seconds. Window. Window across court. Luke. Right wing. Five, four, three. Window, the runner. No good. That's it. Yep. The end of the three. Raiders 39. Dedham Marauders 38. What a game we have, huh, Bruce? Yes, sir. 13 points in the quarter for DS. Each basket what? matters right now. Each foul. Like Four points for Dedham in the quarter. Wow. They led by eight at halftime, and then, okay, Dedham had seven in the first, 27 in the second, That's crazy. four in the third. Raiders, 17, 9, and 13. Yeah, Dedham in that second huh? quarter. They looked like an all-star team. <laughs> they looked like... A, a fire, a firehouse. Yeah, they did. You know, on, on, on March. Oh, yeah, yeah. Got that firehouse analogy. <laughs> I won't ever use it again. <laughs> yeah, please don't. <laughs> so, what happened to the hamster? Oh. All right, for those who don't know, two oh, years God. ago, Brad adopted a trashy hamster. He found him in his trash can. And what did he call him? <laughs> trashy. Trashy. Trashy, And yeah. I never asked you since, what, oh, what was it, last winter? Yep, it um, was. It, is he no longer with us? It kind of mystery because... The cat had knocked down his cage. And, and then, uh, who knows? Maybe Trashy disappeared, let's say. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he snuck out for the window. Who knows, right? Okay, we'll who drop knows. that. <laughs> that was our third quarter wrap up. <laughs> that won't come up again. Yeah, please don't. No. <laughs>
Glick. Oh. Olsen can't control. Down to Donnell. Cardosa slows it down. Donnell. Oh. Off to the right. Man-to-man -man defense for Dover Sherborne. A runner, no good. Off balance shot by Mansoor. Ball comes down to Melchionda. Last quarter, just a half a minute into it. Outside we go, Melchionda fought it. Left wing. Back! Oh! Three points. Yeah, that was a big shot there for Max Glick. He's a junior guy, 42-38 Raiders. You could tell he was just super confident with the ball right there. He was on Tuesday as well. Mm -hmm. Love to see it. Fitzgerald gives it back. They're working outside. They're looking for a cutter, and they got nobody cutting. So they give it back, and, and Cardosa does his fancy dribbling, turns around, throws nothing up, yeah, and gets nothing out of it. I mean, that's just a wild shot. I know. That was a waste of possession, really. It was. Was he trying to draw a foul? But that's not the way to do it. Coach has to be frustrated. Yeah. I mean, they're trailing by four. They had a lousy third quarter, and now they're trying to come back in the fourth. Well, you, and they call a timeout. Yeah, you got to remember, too, he is a sophomore, so. Uh, who called uh, that timeout? Was that white or red? And if he made it in, he's a hero, you know? After the game, I'll try to ask one of the officials if you can call a timeout when you don't have the ball. No, you definitely can't. Then did Dedham call a timeout? Because uh, white had the ball. White called the timeout. Oh. Uh, Dover Sherwin called timeout. Thank you. Debbie says Dover Sherwin called She's timeout. She's right. She's our statistician. Don't argue with your wife. I do not argue with my wife. <laughs> she knows how to cook. Yeah, she's good. She made the cookies. She made the cookies today. <laughs> 25 on the shot clock. It'll be Raiders ball out of bounds in front of us. Luke will put it in play. The senior. I like to see a big quarter here from Luke. The boys contingent to our right stands up to cheer their home team. Window is six and a half to go in the fourth. Off to Luke Rinaldi. Now he is one of those players. When he's on, he can just take the game away. Yeah. Ask Millis. Yep. 32 points against them. Look! Yeah, look at that. Answers the bell. He doesn't have many points, but he's got a few in the second half. Mansoor. Williams. Timmy off to Cardosa. Not a pick, Cardosa. He's too close to give it up. He gets stripped of the ball. Out of bounds, red ball. Oh, uh, he's saying Darnell hit it. Oh, he tipped it? Yep. Wait a minute. I mean, it would make sense because Luke's not that far off. It's the red ball. Uh, and you can see Grady's upset about that. Kaidosa walked. They're calling a foul before the travel. He did both, but they're calling a foul first. I thought he walked, but okay, foul. And that's the third against DS, first on Gavin Lynch. Lick is out, now Keonda's back in. Yeah, Glick getting a little round of applause there. Actually, that's not on Glick, it's on Spellman, his second, team's fourth. Seven fouls already for Dedham, 5.34 to go in fourth. He hands it off. Mansoor around a pick. Nice defense by the white shirts. Short. Oh, man. That is six attempts for him with no baskets. Ronaldi scores! Yeah, what a pass. What a bucket. I think that was Olsen with that long stretch pass. Yeah, they're taking the game away here, Bruce. Elisea looking, looking, looking for inside Fitzgerald. I don't want it. Off to Cardosa. Hands off to Mansoor. Mansoor, like a one-on-one, -on -one, tries to drive around a pick. Shoots off balance. Nothing. No. 
they don't have a point in this quarter. No. Being outscored not um eight nothing. Melchionda oh, oh, too deep. Cardoso with the rebound. Cardoso over midcourt. Spellman gets a hand on it. Cardoso has it back. He shoots. Uh, that is seven shots uh, in a row he's missed. Man. Nice weight, nice shot. Milligan doesn't get the bounce he wants. He wants it. Fitzgerald gets clanged underneath. Davis Darnell, Jr., coming back in after the first shot. Two shots at the line for Will Fitzgerald. Uh, these are huge, big misses. They're only nine points down. 4.02 on the clock. Well, they can't afford to miss this one. No. <laughs> Next one. Yeah. See, they need to go on a run here. Rinaldi. They try to three quarter court press. Nice oh, steal wow. by Milligan. And and nice so steal by right Olsen. Back. Olsen drives, I can do it, gets oh. fouled. Wow, look at that. That power there, Bruce. We'll be back here next Tuesday, the 20th, with a girls game against Bellingham, their opening home game of the season at 6.30. If you can't make it here, you can watch it live on YouTube. One for Olsen, 48-39. One point in the quarter for Dedham. Yep, Glick off. Now, Lynch and in. 10 points in the quarter for the Raiders. <laughs> Davis Darnell. Man soar away outside. Look for some movement inside. Doesn't get it. Good defense holding him back. Man to man. Defense. Try by Fitzgerald. I'm sorry, Davis. Darnell, he didn't score. Spellman driving against 24 Darnell. Way outside Mason Melchiondi. Yeah, we've seen him shoot out there. We have, but I don't think Rick Grady advised him. <laughs> yeah, he probably got to talk into it. Spellman baseline. Spellman What waits. a pass. Oh, my goodness. Spellman. Two inch. Excellence there. 51-39, Raiders, 2.55 to go. Denham wants a timeout. Yeah, Darnell kind of went down a little funny. He's limping to his bench now. One point in the quarter for the visitors. And wow. 12 for Dover Sherborne. How about Spellman on that play, huh? Drawing in the defender. Yeah. You know, just making that and beautiful Just handed pass. it off to yeah. Lynch. Look Sorry. what I got. Mm -hmm. If you look at the game, the only quarter Dedham has won is the second quarter. They've been outplayed for one first quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter so far, and Dedham had a great 27-point quarter. That's great for a quarter. Yeah, 27, it was. But you're not supposed to trail off after no, that. No, I know. Four points in the third, and that about did them in. They're still in the game, but they're down by 12, and they did quite a qu comeback. Yeah. Debbie Glazer, you're going to give us final stats, right? Check on. Should I blab for a while? People don't like me blabbing, so I'll stretch it as long as I can. No, I meant me. Brad and I will talk for a while until you get your stats done. We'll wait. Is this a better crowd for home team than Tuesday or the same? Um, better. Is it? Yeah. Can you count the heads for me? Huh. <laughs> can estimate. <clears throat> 75. So Cardosa, I'm assuming, is going to shoot some bombs. Maybe that's why he's back in. Instead, Davis Darnell misses a bomb. Melchionda, they're going to use clock now. 
Rinaldi slows it down and speeds it up. Comes around from Mason Malkionda, listening to his coach, Luke Spellman, to Luke Rinaldi. Playing catch, watching the clock tick down. No hurry. Clock is the enemy of the Marauders from Dedham. Mansoor decides to go after Rinaldi. They try to trap him, doesn't work. Nice Spellman for three. Boom! Oh my goodness. That should be the game there, Bruce. They're spreading out the scoring on a night when Luke Rinaldi's not hot, the rest of the team took care of it. Mansoor inside. Fitzgerald has to go up. Doesn't draw the foul. He's not a big shooter, but he's down low. He had to shoot because he was, he was too close to do anything, and he was trapped by a lot of white shirts. Spellman outside, ball tipped, red ball. Nice play by Darnell, he tipped it off a white shirt. I like what I'm seeing from the sophomore, Spellman. He's definitely got some good handles, making some good heads up plays. He was a freshman last year, I forgot that. He's a sophomore yeah. now. I forget how young he is. He's getting a lot of playing time too. Mansour for three, off the glass. Rebound comes down to Lynch. Timeout, Rick Grady. All right. Yeah, 128 left to go in the fourth. Uh, Raiders 54, Marauders 39. Should just sail themselves to a victory here, Bruce. There's really nothing Dedham can do except no. a full court trap. Yeah. They could do a full court press, but still, they're yeah, down at this point. They're down by 15. Just give it to Cardoza. <laughs> Not my first choice. <laughs> Mansour is the one hitting the bombs. No, I know. <clears throat> Milligan. Mansour. Darnell. Cardoza. And they need another player. Oh, yeah. Williams for the visitors. Luke, Glick, Brian Olson, Spellman, and Melchionda. Spellman puts it in play into the backcourt. Milligan stays tight on him. They need to press and trap. They don't need to play man to man defense. Yeah. They need, they're not doing the right thing here. Well, unless they've given up. They're just not trapping. They've got to take chances. Foul if you have to. They're being very aggressive, though. Well, I mean, the clock's ticking down, and Dover Sherborn doesn't need another shot. No. Four on the shot clock. Up, Spellman, no good, but he killed almost a full 35 seconds. Cardoso the other way, 57 ticks to go. Driving inside, Timmy Williams off the rim off into off. the hands of Melchionda. You don't foul here because it's not going to do you any no. good. You want the ball back. But I'm surprised we don't see a trap. They just, you know, bring somebody out to trap. Uh, They're playing one on one, and I think Dover they, Sherborne says thank you. They know their fate right yeah, now. Yeah, they do. I'm just, you know, it's yeah. not over till it's over, yeah, but it's, it's really cool. over, isn't it? it? Is. Spellman with under 30 to go, and number 30 has the ball. Spellman to Luke. Luke takes a three. Good night. Yeah, night, night. 15 seconds. Yeah. Zedham will fall to 0-2. The Raiders will become 2-0. Four seconds. You know, I got to credit to Grady and just the captains for really turning the team around after that first half, you know. What great defense. Listen to this. In the fourth quarter, Dover Sherborne had 18 points. Debbie has the final stats. Rinaldi ended up with 10, so that's 42 in 10, two games. Uh, the leading scorer was Olsen, 16 points. That would be 28 in two games. Wendell had seven. Mekionda had 11. Three for Fang and Glick. Three for Spellman. Four for Gavin Lynch. And that wraps it up. So we've seen two wins in a row. Great way to start the season. The boys go to Bellingham. The girls come back here to play Bellingham. Thank you, Brad Crandall. I'm Bruce Glazer. The final score. Dover Sherborne, 57. Dedham 39. We thank you for watching our live streaming cablecast of Dover Sherborne Boys Basketball. Until next time, so long everyone.